pour son bois, le mail est... What's up? What's up, Facebook? I'm going to give y'all a minute to come in. Alright. Let me say something. What's up? Okay, I'm going to give y'all a minute to come in. I'm going to do this, and I won't be on here very long, of course, so. Because this is a topic that I can really like relate to in a way so yeah hey brother how you doing I'm trying to see who else is on here I'm waiting on some more people to come in before I start this video because I want to be able to explain things. I want to explain this. Hey, I said, how you doing? Ashley, how you doing? All right. So tired. I see the pin now. I'm trying to wait on one more person. At least get like three people up in here. Okay. How you doing? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm quite sure some more people gonna come through, but I'm gonna go ahead and start. So as y'all read, the topic of tonight is. Why do most females choose to be with older men and the bad boys or thug type? Let me get off starting off with the older men. For me, I can kind of relate to this because when I was young, I was like 17 years old. I was in a relationship with a guy who was about eight years older than me. He was about around 25, 26. No, he was nine years older than me. He was 26 years old. So, the reason why I chose to be with him because I figure, you know, if I could find somebody that's older, maybe he'll be a little bit more wiser and a little bit more experienced so I can be able to connect with him versus being with somebody in my particular age group because I feel like I wouldn't have connection with guys that's around my age. So it will be easier for me to date older guys at that time period. And this is when I was young. Now, I'm going to explain that most girls want guys that's older because they feel like they can have some type of connection with them. The guys that's older, they seem to be more wiser. In the sense, and then there's, and if you notice that most females, I'm not saying all female, I'm gonna say females, most females mature faster than males. So we start our puberty at a very young age. So most of us might start puberty at the age of 11 or 10 years old, while most guys might start puberty around 16. So with that being said, we develop faster and we mature faster. So, it's very common for a 16-year-old girl to want to date somebody that's 7 or 8 years old than her. So, no matter how much you will try to stop and say, well, I don't want this guy dating my daughter because he's too old. 9 times out of 10, those young girls are going to chase after older men because that's what they want. That's what they gravitate towards because they feel like the older guy can give them a little bit more the old guys seem to be a little bit more understanding and give them, provide them with something they need as far as love or whatnot. And especially if they didn't have a father figure around, they feel like that old guy can be the one that they could be able to um, feel comfortable around 
somebody that can provide their everyday needs, somebody they can communicate with, and they can understand them. Whereas if they try to deal with somebody that's in their age group, they wouldn't have no connection with them. They would have no understanding because most boys around that particular age, they're more into video games and, you know, um, go out here and uh, chase, you know, most, they feel like most guys, I'm only speaking from experience, I'm, I'm explaining why most girls want to, Sam, yeah, I get what you're saying, but I'm explaining why most girls want older guys. You know, and I'm just explaining the mentality because I can relate to some of that. You know, because I was, I had an older guy, you know, when I was young. So, I, that's what I'm speaking on. So, they feel like, that's what I was saying. They feel like with uh, the guys in their age group, they don't have any type of experience. And most of them into video games or, you know, out hanging out with the streets with the boys. And... You know, that's all. And so that's what they feel like. So they feel like, well, I can't date no boy in my age group because he wouldn't understand me. He would have no mature mindset. And then, too, you know, he's too busy spending time playing basketball and video games with his homies. And I need somebody who will give me that sense of security and be able to know how to communicate. All right. Which leads to the next thing. Why do most girls or most women choose the bad boy type over the good boys? I'm going to explain that. It's not that we're saying that bad boys are way better. Or what you call the bad boys. The reason why a lot of girls or a lot of women get with those type of men is because those bad boys, they um, they have life experience. You see what I'm saying? They have life experience. Meaning that they've been out there in the world. They done lived a risky lifestyle, so they know the game. They know how to play. They know the ins and outs, especially when it comes to the streets. So, once again, it goes back to security. So, if something should go wrong and the girl looking for somebody to protect her or whatnot, she's going to go after somebody that has experience versus somebody that never been exposed to the world. So, his viewpoint of the world is different from the guy that might be the good boy. Because the good boy quote unquote the good boy he may come from a productive family but the thing is he never got the exposure that the bad boy had when it comes to the world he never had to want for anything he never really had to go out there and experience life in a way that the other guy did because he he had it given to him so his parents made sure that he didn't have to go through those type of tribulation those type of trials he, the parents made sure that he didn't have to go out here and be out in the world on his own. So he already got what he needed. So he couldn't really tell the girl how to really protect her. So he wouldn't really know how to protect her as far as when it comes to like random individual on the street. Because he hasn't had that experience. So he doesn't know like, he know, he may know a little bit. He may, he may know some information or whatnot, but he doesn't have that total experience. So, to where he can really protect her. And then a lot of times, with the good guys, or the good boys or whatnot, you might hear females say, like, look, I don't want this guy because he's too nice. In other words, it's not saying that they don't want a good man. They don't want somebody that is always... um Somebody that make themselves vulnerable. Let's put it like that. So, if, for example, let's say you do nice things for a girl, whatever. But if you keep on doing something nice and you're not putting any type of restriction on her or, you know, like not putting your foot down or something, you're showing her that it's easy for you to take advantage of. So, a lot of times those girls feel like, I don't want the guy that's too nice because it's easy for her to take advantage of you. It's easy for her to manipulate you. You, you know what I'm saying? So it's easy for her to do whatever she can. So if you always giving, 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 then she feels like, okay, well, you know, he gives too much, but what can he really offer me besides giving? I mean, he's really nice, but does he really know how to put his foot down? Does he know how to really, does he know when to give and when not, when not to give away? I mean, I, you know, so once, so most females don't want somebody that, it's vulnerable in a sense. 
So that's what they really mean. They're not really saying that I don't want nobody that's like, hey, Julius, how you doing? I don't want somebody that's nice. It's just they don't want somebody that's vulnerable. Because if you doing too much nice thing for them, it's easy for them to take their take your kindness for your weakness. And so when they take your kindness for your weakness, then it's too late. So a lot of females kind of like put up a challenge with guys in a sense to see what type of man he is to see if he's the type that can tolerate certain things. If he's the type that can know how to put his foot down. If he's that little alpha male type. That's what they really looking for, the alpha male. But they looking for the alpha male in the wrong place. So they feel like, well, this dude is too nice. So I'm going to go to this dude that's kind of rough on the edge. Hold on, let me. I'm gonna ask you a question in a minute. So they they feel like, well, look, you know, I don't want somebody that's just too that's that's just too friendly. I want somebody that's a little rough on the edge because at least that person would know how to put his foot down. So they don't. But they just don't know how to choose a man. That's just put like that. They don't know how to choose a man. And most of these females didn't have father figures in the household. Okay, so when you don't have that father figure in your household, you're going to go out here and you're going to look for random guys. You're going to look for random guys out there. You're going to find whoever you want, whoever you think is a representation of a man. So for them, they think a representation of a man is someone who's, the quote unquote bad boy type because he looks tough, he looks strong, he sound hardcore and all that. So he's the representation of a man. And not realizing that that man that you think he is, he's not because he himself is broken. He doesn't know how to be the male that he needs to be because he doesn't have a strong male figure in his life so he learns from random people he learns from those who he's involved with and so he doesn't have that guidance that he needs so therefore he don't have the discipline and and most females kind of just feel like well he still seems like the type to me and then when they find out that he's not that person that they really thought then they they find themselves in a vulnerable predicament so once once they put themselves in that predicament they it's kind of hard for them to get out of it or it just or it'll take them a while so it will be hard for them that they either stay in the relationship with that person hoping that individual will change or it'll take them a while for them to leave because they're vulnerable they're scared because they don't know what this person might do to them. So that's one of the so that's the main reason why. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions on here. And uh, let me see. I'm gonna read some comments and I'm answer. One person put, guys that's older don't mean nothing, sweetheart. Most of them are dealing with younger women because they can't deal with a real woman their age that won't take the BS they dish out. True. You're right. So, because it's easy to control, the younger you are, the easier it is to manipulate you. Why you think when you get ready to go into the military, why you think they go at the young person to get them in the military versus the older individual? Because it's easy to train the mind of a young individual. It's easy to play into a young person's emotion and control their psychology. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why they gravitate gravitate towards younger females because it's easier to deal with them. It's easier to get into their minds. But some of these females out here, they pretty strong, so they really gonna have a difficult time. <laughs> some of them ain't gonna really tolerate it either. But most of the time that's the reason. So you're right. And the and this person also put most of the older guys can relate to the younger girls and try to mold them into what they want to be. You're right. That's where pimping come into play. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the pimping come into play because they control their psychology once again. And they make them out. So they do it just by giving in to their emotions. And most girls don't know how to be careful with their emotions because they haven't learned. They looking for security. Going back to security and protection. So they find, I mean going back to protection and communication. So they think, so they find someone who they think 
will bring about security and bring about uh, some form of providing so they feel like that person is the one or the one they could connect with okay now I'm gonna answer this question another person put would you base that totally off of age or experience which one is more important that's a good question um I would say experience but also it has to do with age but most most of the time it got something to do with experience and like I said I can partly relate to those young women because as I mentioned before I have dated a guy that was nine years older than me when I was 17 years old so I can relate to that and I had some challenges where I was in a relationship with one guy who was I guess he was like the bad boy type if you wanna be but I didn't see that bad boy image in him I thought he was trying to be something that he wasn't <laughs> so you know but um he wasn't that much of a bad boy let's put it like that <laughs> but I could really relate to um being with somebody older you know because you want as I mentioned before it's all about the security and it's all about providing so most of the time it was just about security and somebody who can really you know relate to the individual alright let me see what this person put what what circumstances would they consider needing a foot to be put down real men aren't starting Aren't what real men aren't starring random bullcrap just to show that they're show that we're men. Okay, I'm gonna try to answer this. What circumstances would they consider needing a foot to be put down? Um. Well, they need humility. Hum humility is one of them. Discipline is another one. Um, also, you got to be able to know how to stand up for yourself. So, when you when I say put your foot down, that means that you got to be able to be firm about your situation. You know, you can do nice things for people, but at the same time, you just got to give that person a heads up and let them know what you're going to tolerate and what you're not going to tolerate. You got to be able to know how to put that person in there. You know, you got to be able to know how to check a person. You got to pay attention. You got to know the signs before you just give in. And some of those good boys, or a lot of those good boys, they don't pay attention to the sign when it comes to the female because they're so busy caught up on the looks and the way she talk. And then they find themselves, find out that she's not what they really thought she was because they too busy trying to do all these nice things for her so if you're not paying attention to the sign and you're not being disciplined about it and you're not um you know you're not carefully analyzing the person or letting the person know what what type of person you are what you're going to tolerate and then it's easy for you to be taken advantage of because you put yourself in that vulnerable position and you don't want to be vulnerable you don't want to look as vulnerable you don't want to look as easy to take advantage of so you have to be careful and you have to, you know, be a little bit more firm, a little bit more straight. I hope I answered that question. Real men aren't starring random bullcrap just to show that they're that we're men. No, you ain't. But what I'm saying, what I'm trying to explain, Julius, is that the females that goes out here after the bad boys or the thugs, they don't know the difference between real men and little boys because they haven't had a father figure in the household they haven't had someone they could look up to and if they did see men in the house they only seen how the men in the household or whoever they've been around have not shown that example or represent themselves as men so how that man treated her mother is what the kind of man that she gonna run into based on what she see or how her father treated her mother, that determines whether she wants a man like her father or she don't. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, no, real men don't start anything, but they don't know that. See, they only know based on, and also based on media too, what we watch and what we listen to. So, based on what the media puts out there, or a definition of a man, 
that he got to be some thuggish type or some bad boy type or whatever the case may be. That's what they gravitate towards because they don't know. They don't know the difference. They don't know. And then when they come across the ones that seem like they're legitimate about themselves, it's like, well, it's too late. Because they have been through all the bad boys or all the boy, men that's mistreated them. So now when they come across somebody that's very genuine about themselves and very um, carry themselves in a very humble manner, in a respectable manner, they don't know how to deal with that. They don't know what to do. They don't want to be bothered. It's, in her eyes, she feel like, well, this guy right here, he lame because he's not somebody I'm used to. So it's going to take me a minute. I don't want him. So it all goes back to their experience and it also goes back to not having the proper guidance. I hope I answered that. That's a good answer. Yep. Yep, that's right. Old man for cancer, young man for war. Yep. Yep, and that's why if we had the right of passage in our community, I think that it would be a lot stronger. And it will be much better. But because we don't have that foundation that we need. Somebody who really can properly teach us. Or educate us. Or what, what it means to. What it means to have manhood and womanhood. Which is why I say I believe in gender role. I believe in gender roles. For many reasons. Because you got to have a foundation. You got to have a balance. Some people don't believe in gender roles. And some don't believe in gender. But me, I do. Because how a young man going to know how to be a man if he doesn't know his role? How a woman going to know how to be a woman if she doesn't know her role? See? You got to know your role as a male and a female. You got to know what part to play. You got to know what it means to be nurturing as a young woman and how to be able to... um properly raise a family or whatnot, you gotta know as a man y'all know how to provide and protect for your family, you know, that's very important. So you gotta you need that balance there because that will bring a proper foundation and that will bring a family, a unity. And if we had that, we'll be a lot stronger as a people. But because we have a lack of guidance, we have too many different point of views by everything, we don't have and and because you don't have people that's compassionate enough to take a child in and teach them the thing they need to know, this is why you got a total chaos. Chaos, because we fall under a learned behavior and social construct. Because we've been programmed by the media, we've been programmed by the things that we see in our neighborhood. So, and then plus you got the female who's the head of household. But check this out. Just because she's the head of the household doesn't mean that she will properly raise her children. Or even if you have both parents in the household, that doesn't mean that your kid is going to be raised properly. Because if your mama and daddy is fucked up, then guess what? You're going to be fucked up. And excuse my language. You see what I'm saying? Or... If your mama is messed up, just because you're a female and you got your mama in the house doesn't mean that you're going to be, that doesn't mean that you're going to know what the definition of womanhood is. Because if your mama don't spend enough time with you and she don't raise you and she don't talk to you about the things that women go through or what you're going to have to deal with as a woman, then you're not going to know. You're going to go elsewhere because you're not getting that foundation from her. Same way with the male. He may have his father around, but if his father is not teaching him the things that he needs to know as a male, as far as manhood is concerned, guess what? He's going to get it elsewhere because he's not there. So his daddy's physically there, but he's not there emotionally and mentally. So he's not there to teach the child what he needs to know. And so it's important to have both parents, but you need to have both parents that, that is willing to raise a child. You need to have both parents so where they could be able to know how to bring the discipline and bring the foundation and be the example. So, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to say that again. Just because you have both parents in the household doesn't mean that you're going to be properly raised correctly. Doesn't mean that you're going to have a good foundation. 
Okay, and just because you have a single mother in the household doesn't mean that you're not going to be raised right, or you or doesn't mean that um she's not going to take care of you or do what she needs to do because she may have males in her family that may step in and be the father figure. Or if the father is a single father, he may have females in the family that will step up and be that mother figure for the child. So, you know, so it's all about the mentality. It's all about how we deal with things, how we carry ourselves. So, as I mentioned before, if you had the proper foundation, if you had the right of passage in the community, I think things will go a lot smoother. It will be much better. That's what I think. That's my opinion. That's my argument. So, with that being said, that's all I wanted to discuss about is as far as why most females choose to be with older men and choose the bad boys type because it all goes back to security and providing. That's what it's all about, security and providing. And most of them don't have the father figure in the household or somebody that represent themselves as the alpha male or the strong figure. So that's your answer. There you go. Well, that's all. I um about to log off of here. I thank you all for your time. I appreciate you all tuning in. So I will have more topics to come up with. Um, you all take care. You have a wonderful evening. Power and elevation to all of you. And deuces. All right.